Hello, dear children. I welcome you all to the radio learning program, which is produced by REB with support from UNICEF. I'm teacher Mary. I'm going to teach you social studies for P5. So P5 learners, you need to get ready, come close to the radio, and listen attentively to this lesson. So our dear parents, I really appreciate you for supporting our children as they are learning from home. So children, can you get out your notebooks and pens? Because you will need them to write down some activities that I will be giving you. It is very important to have a notebook and a pen so that you note down some questions, some activities, and something that comes in your mind. So I hope you're ready now. Are you ready with your notebooks and pens? Okay. So children, do you remember what we learned in the last lesson? What did we learn in the last lesson? Okay, we learned about the economy. And we said the economy, it is when we manage our resources carefully. In other words, it is a careful management of available resources. So we also learned about how to make a budget, especially the family budget. And the budget always shows the income and expenditure of the family or of the government. So let us have a short break and we continue. Welcome back, children. So today, we are going to learn about financial institutions in our province. We are going to learn about financial institutions in our province. And you can find this topic on page 56 and 57 in the P5 SST textbook. Check on page 56 and 57. So these are the objectives of the lesson. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to know what financial institutions are, and you will also be able to identify the financial institutions that are found in Rwanda. Okay? That is what you will be able to learn by the end of this lesson. Can you all stand up for a warm-up? Can you stand up for a warm-up? Let us sing together this warm-up. I will sing it first, then you will sing it with me the second time. Okay, let us sing. Sweetly sings the donkey at the break of day. If you do not feed it, this is what it says. Ooh oh, ooh oh, ooh oh, ooh oh, ooh oh. Can we sing it together now? Sweetly sings the donkey at the break of day. If you do not feed it, this is what it says. Ooh oh, ooh oh, ooh oh, ooh oh, ooh oh. Sweetly sings the donkey at the break of day. If you do not feed it, this is what it says. Ooh oh, ooh oh, ooh oh, ooh oh, ooh oh. Well done, children. Can you sit down? So as I said earlier, today we are going to learn about financial institutions. So we are going to learn about savings because you know we do savings in financial institutions. So what are savings? What are savings? So before we know what savings are, can we first know what financial institutions are? What are financial institutions? Okay? And you know that we do savings in the financial institutions. So financial institutions are places which provide financial support. Financial institutions are places which provide financial support in terms of money. So people get money from different financial institutions in order to carry out activities. People have so many activities they carry out with the money they get from the financial institutions, like trade, like farming, paying school fees, building houses, and so many, you can mention them. 
So financial institutions are places which provide financial support in terms of money. So let us look at what are savings. What are savings? So savings are the amount of money put aside for future use. Savings are amount of money put aside for future use. So it is important to save. It is very important to save. So when we save, we are able to avoid wasting the money. We don't waste the money when we save. We also cater for the future needs. When we have some money saved, we are able to cater for the future needs. Also, saving will help you to improve the standard of living, since saving will enable you to use the money to purchase valuable goods at a later time. So always be able to save some money because it will help you in future when you need it most. It will also help you not to waste money. And you'll also be able to improve your life because you have saved money and you have accumulated and you can buy something valuable. So we always do savings in financial institutions. And financial institutions are places which provide financial support in terms of money. So some financial institutions belong to the government and others are non-governmental organizations. Some financial institutions belong to the government and others are non-governmental organizations. Let us look at the non-governmental organizations. In other words, they are NGOs. NGOs. So examples of NGOs that provide financial services in the province are province or the country. Examples of NGOs that provide financial institutions in the province or our country are one, IMF. Children, do you know what IMF stands for? We have always heard it everywhere in advertisement. Wherever we go, they talk about IMF. What is it? So in full, it is International Monetary Fund. IMF, it is International Monetary Fund. Another NGO that provides financial services, it is World Bank. World Bank. The third one, Bank of Africa. So all those are NGOs that provide financial services. So examples of the financial institutions in our province are banks, cooperatives, and markets. These are some of the examples of financial institutions we find in our province. They are banks, cooperatives, and markets. And remember we said financial institutions are places which provide financial support. In other words, they support people in terms of money. They give out money, they give out loans, they do so many things. So financial institutions always provide financial support. So we are going to look at the first financial institution that we have in our country, and that is a bank. What is a bank? You all know banks. You have always met banks on the way. Whenever you're going to school, whenever you're going somewhere, your parents withdraw money from banks. What is a bank? So a bank is an institution that keeps people's money safe and provides other financial services. A bank is an institution that keeps people's money safe and also provides other financial services. So can we make a list of all the banks that you know in Rwanda? Make a list of all the banks that you know in Rwanda. Write them down. The common ones, the ones that you know. Okay, one, Bank of Kigali. I hope children, you all know Bank of Kigali. We have Bank of Kigali, Eco Bank, Equity Bank, National Bank of Rwanda, we have AB Bank, we have Populaire, we have I and M Bank, GT Bank, Koje Bank. There are so many banks that we have in Rwanda. There are so many banks that provide financial services to the people in Rwanda. 
So what is the importance of banks in our province? What is the importance of a bank in our province or country? Banks keep money safe. Keep your money in the bank, it will be safe. If you keep it somewhere else, it will not be safe. If you leave it in your house, anyone can get it. A thief can break in and steal it. If you keep it in your bags, anyone can carry your bag and it is taken. But in a bank, money is very safe. Number two, they provide loans and credit to people. Sometimes people need more money to start up businesses. So whenever they need money, they can go borrow some money from the bank and they always call that a loan. So they provide loans or credit to people. Number three, banks help people to save money. You will not waste money if it is kept safe in a bank. So people will be able to save a lot of money. Number four, they give interest on money kept in a bank. So when you keep money in the bank, they will be able to give you interest. So we have looked at the banks. Now let's look at cooperatives. What is a cooperative? Okay, can you share with the person next to you? What do you understand by a cooperative? So a cooperative is a group of people who work together to achieve a common goal. It's a group of people who work together to achieve a common goal. So a cooperative is always formed by a group of people. People always sit down, come together, or they set their goals, they set their objectives, and they come up with an institution, which is a financial institution, because there are so many things that they do in a cooperative. So people come together, sit down, agree on a common goal of what they have to achieve, and they set up a cooperative. So we have so many types of cooperatives. There are many types of cooperatives, and some of them are profit-making cooperatives, and others are service providers. They just provide service to the people. So all cooperatives aim for providing financial support to improve the lives of other people. Their aim, their most important aim, is to provide financial support to improve the lives of their members, the members in the cooperative. So some types of cooperatives in the province are, one is the producer cooperative. It is a producer cooperative. Two, a worker cooperative. And three, another cooperative, the saving and credit cooperative. Saving and credit cooperative, like Mwarimu Saku, Omulenje Saku, Zigama, all those are savings and credit cooperatives. So what is the importance of a cooperative? What is the importance of a cooperative? So let me share with you the importance of having a cooperative or how it benefits its members. One, the cooperatives, they give loans to cooperative members. If you are a member of that cooperative, they are able to give you some money as a loan. Two, cooperatives provide tools, seeds, and fertilizers to farmers. Cooperatives which are always organized or made for farmers, they are able to provide certain tools, they provide seeds, fertilizers that the farmers need. So it is easy for the farmers to access all those items. Three, the cooperative also helps farmers to sell and market their produce. So in a cooperative, there will be easy access to the market because the farmers will come together, put their produce in the cooperative, and the cooperative will sell it to an accessible market. So it is easy for the farmers to sell and market their produce. That is point three. Point four, cooperatives promote unity and development among people. Since people have to work together for a common goal, for instance, when people want to begin business, they are able to do it easily 
and they will be able to develop themselves because they are in a cooperative, they are united, and they want to achieve a common goal. So there will always be promotion of unity and development among people. The last point, cooperatives give advice to their members on how to improve their quality of their product. Remember cooperatives, they help to market and also sell the produce of the farmers. So every time they are able to sell out the produce, they are able to know if the produce or the product is of good quality. And they are able to inform their members if the produce was of good quality and how they can improve their produce. First, we looked at the banks as a financial institution. We have also looked at cooperatives. Now, let us look at markets. Markets in the province. What is a market? A market is the meeting place of people for selling and buying their goods and services. The market is a meeting place of people for buying and selling their goods and services. What is the importance of a market? People are able to buy and sell their products. In a market, people will go there, they get their products, they are able to buy from a market from a wholesaler, and they're able to sell as retail sellers. So they can buy products and they can also sell in the market. Another importance of a market, it promotes development. Because remember, people are able to sell their produce or their products. So whenever they sell their products, they get money and they are able to develop themselves. They earn a living, they get money, and they are able to develop themselves. So lastly, markets are also a source of government revenue. Markets are a source of government revenue. The government is able to collect taxes from the people who operate in the markets. The government is able to collect some money from the people who are selling their goods and services in the markets. Welcome back, children. So as we conclude the lesson, let me summarize the whole lesson. We looked at the financial institutions, which are places that provide financial support in terms of money, like banks, cooperatives, and markets. And we are also able to look at the importance of the bank and also the importance of cooperatives. So I'm going to give you homework. You are going to research about the social services that are provided in Rwanda. Find out the social services that are provided in Rwanda and also the service centers that provide those services. So thank you so much for paying attention. It has been your teacher Mary teaching you this lesson. I hope you join me in the next lesson. Bye bye.